today we're going to make a southwestern style salsa. And, wow, my kind of dish. Right, and salsa is today the most common consumed. They come in different varieties. We have some that are fresh, made from vegetables that have not been cooked. There's others that are cooked, which is what we're going to do today. And there's also some that are made with a green tomatillo, which is, looks like a small green tomato. But again, we're going to be doing one with a tomato base. The ingredients you'll be needing are two cans of these Mexican-style stewed tomatoes, available in most major supermarkets, the Spanish-style tomato sauce, chipotle peppers in adobo, which is a vinegary sauce. These are basically jalapeno peppers that have been smoked. Black beans and corn. That's what gives it the southwestern taste. We'll also need a large Spanish onion, two green bell peppers, some salt, vinegar, and cilantro, which is also known as Chinese parsley. The onion needs to be diced fine. Let's get this out of the way. We'll move these away. So you're going to cook them? This is going to be a cooked salsa. Next step, the bell peppers are to be chopped, also fine. Get rid of the seeds, the membrane, dispose of it. Oh, you don't want to get the gallery Generally, out. Of it. Well, you don't want to. We pour some white vinegar over the peppers and onions and let it stew, let it boil, and with a spoon you can stir it around, break the pieces up a little bit more if necessary. So we'll just let that come to a boil. And the next step will be to take the canned tomatoes and chop them up fine. them into the bowl. There are ready-made diced tomatoes, but they don't come with that Mexican seasoning. That's what makes these different. You chop these up in small pieces. And that's one can down. Remember, you do, you do use the juices. Second can. And give that a stir. You can break it up a little bit smaller even while it's cooking. Next we put in one can of the Spanish style tomato sauce. <laughs> Some cilantro. I'll cut it for you. Right. Cilantro is a type of parsley, but it has a stronger, more pungent, would you call it, taste. Yeah. That looks like enough. Yeah. Some black beans and some corn. Now, you don't use the full can of this. You may need a few spoonfuls. If you have a slotted spoon, it makes it even easier. Yeah. And again, this is what gives it the southwestern characteristic as opposed to other styles of salsa, which there are many. 
We just take a few spoonfuls of the black beans, frijoles negros. Maybe two of these ought to be enough. Get those stirred in. And next, after the black beans, some corn niblets. Again, about the same amount, two spoonfuls, large spoonfuls. Down the side. You can put in some salt. You can also use the coarse salt, but this is regular Morton salt. Add some to it. That should be enough. Give it a stir. And if you would like to have a mild salsa, then just what anybody can eat. Just let it cook a little bit longer, and it's done. Of course, you have to let it cool before you actually eat it. Now, the last ingredient we would put in are chipotle peppers. The chipotles, like I said earlier, are jalapeno peppers that have been smoked, and they're in a sauce called adobo. Adobo is, according to the ingredients here, it's um, vinegar, tomatoes, onion, sugar, iodized salt, paprika, soybean oil, and spices. And it's an Asiatic influence. The adobo sauce originated in the Philippines. And it worked its way into the New World through the Spanish trade. Unless you're a real expert like Sal is, who knows how to handle these things at home, it's best to have some rubber gloves on when you're handling hot chili peppers. Because you could have an accident, touch your eyes, not good. <laughs> now this is a trial and error. The first time you make this, you may want to just put in one of these. These are the chipotles as they come out, uh, out of the can. They can be cut up. Preferably remove as many of the seeds as possible because they can be hot. We'll just finish cutting these. In fact, I'll put in a fourth one. So, But again, at home, you can dis determine what level of heat you want. That's the advantage of making it yourself. You don't have to depend on... <laughs> Avoid the seeds, but get the chopped. Chipotles into the pot. Then stir it in. And this salsa is finished, except for the cooling period. Salsa is traditionally eaten with tortilla chips or corn chips. It can also be used with, you know, saltine crackers. It's a low calorie snack. It's healthy. But again, be careful when you're if you're not used to eating these hot foods. Start with fewer of the hot peppers and work your way up. One thing I would avoid though is putting in any fresh garlic unless it's going to be eaten right away because that can get bitter if it's going to be stored after a, a few days. Now the salsa is complete. It's in a bowl. All I have to do is let it cool and get some chip, southwestern style. <laughs> well, very, looks very good. Oh. Oh. And, uh, well, I help. want to taste this one, huh? My guest. It's hot, huh? Well, I have to wait till it cools down. I just want to taste it. I like it. Hmm. Great salsa. It's like a trip to Tucson, huh? <laughs> it is good, really. It doesn't take long to cook it, no. no. Just you kind of soften up the peppers and onions, no? That's correct. The last one thing is good, you have the tomatoes already cooked up. And it's uh, a fraction of the cost. If you have, yeah. you know, when you buy it, uh, have you ever seen Don Imus's brand? It's like four dollars a jar. It's ridiculous. But say the chipotles, I could have mentioned, uh, you can use regular jalapenos, but again, just the chipotles with that smoky taste, that's what gives it the authentic, oh, yeah, that's, that's the smoky. southwestern, uh, that's the southwestern t taste. And saying it is, it came out good even without the vinegar. Oh, it's very good. Well, thank you very much, Barry. Okay. And I hope I see you next time again. With okay. Some, another Mexican. We'll dish. do that. Because we didn't have the Mexican food here. Oh. So next time, if you come up with some idea, gladly. You're most welcome anytime. Gladly. Thank you very much. <laughs>